No, I asked you the other day about if you participated in the the late night uh, uh, the, the the documentary that was no, just on recently. I didn't. That's what you said. And the story's been told and everything. I said, oh, well, Bill Carter did it because he wrote the books and everything on it. Did you ever read any of the books or the, the watch the movie or any of that shit from back in the day? I, I don't really have a big... I watched the movie. You did? Yeah, yeah I saw it when I came out. It was on HBO. I said, I don't watch it. Oh, I can't believe... I would have thought never in a million years. Okay. No, I don't, I don't get angry. About, I just... I get... No. I, I, I just get annoyed if people just get the facts. You know, people think, well, you stole the show from Letterman. Dave didn't have the show. You know, Johnny had the show. Johnny had the show, and I was the permanent guest host for over five years. I was the only other person doing it. And NBC's thinking was, we have a hugely successful show at 12.30 with Dave, and my ratings are very good when I was guest hosting. Mm -hmm. That's why they gave me the show. So let's do this. This way we have two hit shows back to back, which was true. Uh, so the idea that I would leave and go to CBS or somewhere else. Uh, I mean, it was never there. Did they say it was in the movie? I can't remember. You said that you hate when they get the facts wrong. Oh, I can't remember. That. Oh, okay, okay. It wasn't, you weren't saying anything specific. It was just no, a, no, generically. I'm just saying in in real life now what the, what the deal was. You know. So. Um, the 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 movie I remember being cartoony. Yeah, it was. Crazy. It was a, like a caricature of the whole yeah, uh, I know situation. Dave hated the guy that played him, and that guy's so talented too in other shit, in right, other right. stuff. He's so funny. Um, um, and then uh, f uh, I never believed that you hid in a closet. I never believed it. Did you really hide in a closet oh, yeah. like that story? Yeah, yeah. You really did. Well, what it was is I had no agent. I had no manager. Right. Okay, and there were all these rumors. So I. Uh, I went over to Warren's office. I knew there was a meeting at 4 o'clock. And I went in there. I said, oh, I went and sat in the closet at about 3.15. So I heard everything that was going on. And I remember, this, this was kind of funny. I remember saying to, uh, I remember Warren Littlefield saying, and he did it a couple of times. He said, uh, you know, Leno was asking me about a few things that I know were only said in this room. And I was going, well, we didn't talk about it. We well, look, from now on, we don't, even, we don't even tell our first lieutenants what goes on in here. All right? All right, fine. Everybody leaves. <laughs> I go out and buy them. Uh, Two days later, I see, I pass Warren in the hall. I go, first lieutenant, Jay Leno. <laughs> he goes, hey, hey, what's that? I go, what? What, what do you mean, first lieutenant? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, like Mikhail's Navy or whatever. <laughs> No, but why did you say? Oh, you were fucking with him. And, 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 and he just, he, yeah, it was very, it was actually pretty funny. It was actually I mean, having worked at NBC and the bit, like I knew, the, you know, in the, in, the, in the movie, they represent like, oh, he runs across the, the midway there over to the, the commissary, you know, the executive building, right. the whole thing. And I just, I was like, it just, none of it makes sense to me. And then they've got uh, uh, Rick, um, oh, gosh, Ludwin. he's passed away now. Rick Ludwin sitting at the table eating pizza, and Jay Leno's in the closet. And I go, those guys are friends. If anything, Jay Leno's sitting at the table just being quiet, <laughs> having some pizza. No, no. So that was all fictitious for the movie. That was just bullshit from the movie. Yeah, but, that he was eating pizza. And, yeah, the yeah, whole thing was, was a conference was, call in Boca. He was in the meeting, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it was a real yeah, meeting. And, it was yeah. in person. Yeah, and the second meeting of the conference call in Boca, what happened there was um, uh, I called... And I tried to reach Warren, and they said, oh, he's not, he's not in his room yet. Okay, click. So then I called back 10 minutes later, and I said, I'll, uh, I'll try Warren again. <laughs> and I hear, hello. So, so I'm thinking, oh, he must have just got to the room. And just by chance, I said, oh, you're in the restroom. Let, let me call you back. He goes, what? Oh, you're in the restroom. I'll call you back. And I hung up. Well, he had just been in the restroom. So it seems like you're so, just so really. He, so he called. He called Ludwin to go. I want these rooms swept. There's a bug oh, in this room. Oh my god! Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah. So. And that one was a coincidence. I, uh, yeah, it was a coincidence. I, I, I told <laughs> Ludwin. I told, I told Ludwin that years later, and he went, "Oh yeah, because he he wanted us to sweep the room because he thought there's a bug." Because he he said, "You called him as soon as he like two minutes of him being in the room, and and." Uh, he was in the restroom when, you, and you knew he was in the restroom, but you were here. Unbelievable! <laughs> yeah, uh, Unbelievable! But I was just playing with him. But Warren was a good guy. Still is. I, I, I have met him a handful of times. She has as well. It was always very nice. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I enjoyed that whole story. I feel like that story. 
Ugh, the story was so much bigger than had just one of you gotten the shows with no with no uh, any kind of controversy. You know what I mean? Like all of that worked out so well for everybody. CBS, NBC, everybody, well, because you know, everyone in this country yeah, was talking comes about after it. you. But I always, who do you tackle? The guy with the football, and the Tonight Show was the football so number you, one. Yeah, so you expect to get beat up and attacked, and you know. All of a sudden, not funny anymore. You change, or there's always some other aspect of it. 